I'm seeing an earthquake, a kind of tremor that will cause the people a deal of harm. So you will see it not long hence because I'm seeing it is coming very soon. Why put my name at stake by giving such world prophecies? Why in the past I said that the war between Israel and Gaza will end in five days time and that exactly five days later it ended. Back then there was no sign that the war would end. The war was still enraging. But God is faithful. This is why I'm able to be confident to say such words to the world. I uploaded it on YouTube. You can see. Because I want the undeniable concrete evidence that God is still with us. Why put my name at stake? That saying, out of all the nations, the nation of Paris will face legal challenges concerning building and fire in exactly three days' time. And then, three days later, news broke out that this indeed happened. Why put my name at stake? Because the Bible says that God is not a man that lies. He is faithful to those who are faithful to Him. That is why I'm confident to say such words. I know that God will not let any of my words fall to the ground. You see, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 20 to 21 says that do not despise prophecies, but test them. How do we test them? If it is individual prophecies, such as, look, uh, woman, I'm seeing you having this and that, well, it can be staged. But if it is world prophecies, how can it be staged? I cannot bribe prime ministers or presidents. Who am I? And how can I predict to natural disasters that are uh, simply an act of God? Of course, with careful examinations, individual prophecies, you may believe it. Similarly, when it comes to healing, you see many pastors uploading healing videos on YouTube. How can you and I believe if there is no documentary of such healings? If the doctor has not certified, how will you and I believe? Okay, in the past, I was sick. I went to the hospital, I did a checkup. Then I went to a man of God, a pastor, to pray. He prayed for me, I went back to the doctor, and the doctor said, Oh, the cancer has miraculously disappeared. Then yes, you and I can believe. This is what 1 Thessalonians 5 20 to 21 says, test all prophecies. This is how we test them. Because you, you know that it, many things can be staged. That is S-T-A-G-E-D. It can be staged. Well, you know that God can give Satan his power. But God can never give Satan his character. In the time of Moses, many magicians were doing miracles. They were commanding the frogs out of the Nile. But they do not have God's character. Our Lord said, You recognize people by their fruits, not by their power. But of course, there are gifts of the Holy Spirit that enable us to confirm what we have preached. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says, And the signs will follow them that believe to confirm what they have said. The apostles were not without power. They went about the towns and when they were persecuted, they flee to another town with strong signs and wonders and miracles following them. These were accompanied by God's fruit of holiness, of love, of gentleness, of kindness, of peace, and of joy. I say it once again, God can give 
evil people his power to do miracles, but he can never give evil people his character of love, joy, peace, hope, gentleness and righteousness and holiness, so on and so forth. So you can recognize true and false ones. And oftentimes, those miracles that are performed by God is leading somewhere. It is of goodness. You see, in the time of Moses, those magicians, they can copy the miracles, but they can never reverse it. When they command uh, this... Uh, frogs and uh, flies to come out, they cannot reverse it. Instead, they went to Moses and Moses pleaded with God to stop it. It is only God. So let us test all things and not despise them. I hope to see you in faith again. This is to stimulate us into wholesome thinking as the book of Peter in the Holy Bible said. Once again, let us pray for those who will experience the earthquake, it is, um, it will cause a deal of harm. So, God bless you. Uh, let us meet again in faith. I'm saying this again that uh, my number is displayed freely on the videos to minister to you guys freely for counseling, for healing, and for prophecies to your life. These are given freely. I do not believe in taking money from this because our Lord Jesus said, freely we receive, freely we give. If I pray for you and I take money, ah, you, you, you may simply dismiss me as a fraud because that is not biblical. God bless you and I hope to meet you. Amen.